Some of these prison creators are just doing way too much, bro. Yo, I mean that with absolutely no shade intended. Do what you do, man. I want to see every single one of us succeed. And I get the marketing ploy. You trying to make it sound sensationalized, make it sound as crazy as humanly possible, make it sound just absolutely unimaginable to get more views. But y'all know me. I'm going to talk about what it really is. Y'all ready? Let's get it. First and foremost, I gotta give the disclaimer, man, because I have only done prison time on the West Coast, and every prison can be absolutely different. So maybe y'all did time in Guantanamo Bay. Maybe it was just an endless spree of torture, and I don't know what I'm talking about. I am strictly talking from my personal experience, but my experience is definitely different from a lot of the stuff that I see going on on YouTube when it comes to some of these prison creators. Some of them are dead on on point. They're absolutely honest. I can tell. I can smell it on they breath through their touch screen. And yeah, I absolutely get the attraction to being completely sensationalized because the views are definitely there. The people who don't really know what it's about, what it's actually really like, they will absolutely gobble that stuff up. But that's not what I'm trying to do, man, because I'm trying to be an authentic, 100% straight human being. Like, I live today in a world of recovery. I live based on certain principles, and the number one principle that I have to adhere to and maintain in my life is really rigorous honesty. And I get that to some of the people who haven't lived that life, some of my stories probably sound crazy and way too out there to be true, but I promise you, this is the life that I've lived and that's why I'm talking about it. So if this is your first full length, welcome. Let me introduce myself. My name is JD. I was a drug addict. I was a career criminal for over 20 years. Today, I am a recovery coach. I'm a peer support recovery specialist. I'm a smart recovery facilitator and I have a life that was beyond the imagining of anything that I could have ever hoped for for my myself back when I was in that lifestyle, man. I had certain goals. I had certain things that I wanted to attain and I was never even going to reach those. And those are simply crumbs compared to what I have today. Like the life that I have today is so much better. And it's not all about things. It's not about money. It's not about popularity. It's not about girls. It's definitely not about drugs. It's about spiritual peace. It's about liking the man that I see when I look in the mirror. It's about being able to love myself. Like these things are what's really important to me today and I have those things because of the recovery that I found and anybody can find it because I was bad off so if you're out there and you're still suffering please understand that this is a message of hope because if I could do it if my crazy Irish demented could do it you can too I got the introduction done what else was I supposed to do tell them to subscribe to your channel oh yeah could you guys do that for me please it would really make my day so here we go I did 39 months in the state of Oregon for three UUMVs which is Oregon's equivalent to like a GTA a Grand Theft Auto yes I stole cars terrible I know right I was on drugs I was a bad person we're not gonna go over that again we talk about it every time I did most of my time like the vast majority at maximum security prisons well one maximum security prison in particular Oregon State Penitentiary it was the first place that they ever built to incarcerate people in the state of Oregon it's like one of the biggest it's the gnarliest it's the dirtiest it's where they send lifers and gang members for the most part it was absolute trash but it was the place that I called home at the time I had no choice I was stuck there their emergency exits literally didn't work I know I tried them Seems like that goes against some sort of fire code. Somebody call the marshal. And I'm going to be real honest with y'all. Oregon's prisons are definitely not the hardest state prisons in the country. I completely understand that. But doing time is doing time. And that brings me to my personal motto, my mantra. What got me through prison? I am doing my time for the crimes that I did. I'm doing my time. I refuse to let my time do me. I will never let my circumstances and my surroundings affect or dictate my mindset and my state of being as a human being. And if it's up to me, if I'm the one in control of my state of being, we're gonna have fun. Unless you've read all of my comments, you guys have no idea how many people get all up in their feelings when I talk about these horrific things that I've been through and the prisons and the crimes and the terrible traumas in my life. And I'm smiling and I don't seem like I'm completely devastated over it. I might be smart, but I'm also dumb like a puppy dog emotionally and I'm just gonna live my life happy as shit and there's nothing you can do 
knew about it. <laughs> and I've spent months on lockdown. I spent 10 months straight in the hole. And I had a good time each and every single place that they put me because I refuse to let myself be broken by my circumstances or my surroundings. It's a great mindset to have, y'all. I'm telling you. Because then you get back out here in the streets and like, what's anybody going to do to me? What are you going to do to stab me, shoot me? Okay, had worse done to me. Unless you kill me, I'm going to recover from a bullet wound in under 10 months, homeboy. 10 months in the hole ain't no joke. And honestly, being locked up in isolation, in the hole, in the shoe, whatever they call it, in whatever state that you're in, that was the worst thing that they possibly could have thrown at me. As an ADHD individual with that mental handicap of being constantly squirrel, it was really bad for me. But yo, I still didn't let it completely break me. I'm definitely not going to lie. I left parts of my mind in that cell, in the hole that I spent all that time in. But I came out on the other side. And to tell you the truth, I had fun every single day in the hole. We played Hangman, we played Battleship, we counted the cracks on the ceiling. That's really about it for 10 months straight. But that's literally the worst thing that they could do to me. Let's talk about some of the upsides of prison. Not because I'm encouraging you guys to go, but I want to be real and upfront about the reality of what incarceration is. And I don't see a lot of people talking about the good stuff. Where I was at, at OSP in the Max, you were able to buy your own 7-inch TV. It's this little clear TV. They had TV channels. They had some sort of weird cable. Like, you could literally sit in your cell because you were on 23-hour-a-day lockdown every other day. You would get out and you would be able to go for like 20 minutes at a time to the chow hall for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And that's a whole day. You're in the cell the rest of the day, and then you get out on the yard for like two hours the next day, and then it's the next day you're back on that 23-hour lockdown, so you really got nothing else except your TV for most of that time. Unless you're like me, a completely average musician who wants to sit around and annoy your celly by playing guitar all day, then you can buy a guitar, a way overpriced, mediocre guitar. And I met this amazing old blues guitar player who really shouldn't have been in prison at all. He should have been on stage. He had played on stage with a lot of the greats. He literally had pictures of him on stage with Santana at one point, but he was in prison because he also happened to be a heroin addict and he just liked to rob stores when he needed heroin. And I had been a drummer and a vocalist in metal bands for like the majority of my life, so I paid this dude to start teaching me how to play guitar because I wanted to branch out and be able to play with myself really well. So yo, I was able to learn a skill that was entirely useful to me while I was in prison. I spent a lot of time educating myself, like a lot about the Irish history and the history of our people, our culture, how we've interacted with other countries, and all of that was really valuable to me because, yo, I love my people a lot, a lot. And I definitely didn't spend, a, like, an obsessive amount of time in there working out like I do now that I'm on the streets and like I've done in county since I've gotten out and found a love for bodybuilding. I just really didn't see the need. I was surrounded by dudes. I really didn't care what I looked like. I knew that I had hands, and that's all I really cared about. But now that I'm out on the streets, the stuff that I did learn in there as far as bodybuilding, as far as lifting weights, as far as fitness, I apply that on a daily basis. I made friends in there that I still talk to on a weekly or daily basis ever since. People that I never would have met if I hadn't gone to prison. You know what? A lot of you guys are gonna be like, why do you still associate with scumbags? you buddy because some of those people are some of the best people that I know in this world man people that are great dads great businessmen great fathers great husbands uh I said fathers twice didn't I damn it y'all know with this ADHD thing I'm like a ferret on meth in a microwave I just go don't worry bro we can edit it out and post yeah but we won't we gonna mess that up too bet <laughs> And let me just say this right here. Going to prison did not make me tough. I was tough before I went into prison. I walked out of prison tough. But it definitely showed me a lot about what I can withstand, what I can get through, and what I'm capable of in really extreme situations. But you don't need to go to prison to do that. There's lots of hobbies you can do that with. There's lots of different like jobs, occupational stuff that makes you money, stuff that makes you an asset and a valuable commodity to your community that you can do. You don't got to go to prison to do that. Don't. I don't recommend prison in any way, shape or form, but it is where I learned what I'm capable of. I brought that confidence and that knowledge of my own limitations out into the real world with me, and I use it and apply it in real world ways to advance my life, to better my community, to be a better human being, and to help the people around me these days. Now, could I have learned that somewhere other than prison? Absolutely, 100%, and that's what I recommend to you guys. But I got a real thick skull, and I had to go somewhere real bad to figure it out. Be better than me, bro. <laughs> but I woke up in there every 
day with the same mindset that I wake up with out here. I'm goal oriented, I'm motivated, and I'm not going to let anything get in the way of those things, especially my own personal well-being, like my emotional mindset, the way that I'm set up for my day. I did not let that break me and I don't do it out here either. So for me, I was able to have a positive experience in prison, even if I was in a really negative place. I know that a lot of prison creators, including myself, have told some pretty horrific stories about the violence in there, but each and every person who was involved in that violence, man, like they brought it on themselves. They did something to bring that on to themselves. I got my ass handed to me in prison uh, at least once, and I definitely brought that on myself. It was my big Irish mouth that put me in that position. It was my pride, my ego, and my recklessness that got my ass whooped. Nobody else is. So it's not like there's just a bunch of innocent people getting beat up. Like, the people who get beaten and extorted, they're there for hurting people that they shouldn't be hurting women and children. They're pedophiles, they're abusers, and yo, they absolutely deserve to get whooped every second that they're in there. But if you're in there and you're on a solid charge, you're not a bad dude, you're not reckless with your mouth, your neck is gonna be pretty much protected, so is your starfish. It's all about knowing how to conduct yourself and you're gonna be just fine. I watched absolute timid small dudes make it through prison and they really only had to fight once or twice, man. They got tested, they didn't back down, and everybody respected them from there on out. I mean, yeah, you're definitely going to have to put your fists up and swing a couple times, at least once or twice while you're in there to earn your respect, to get that respect, to be left alone, you know what I'm saying? But like... Bro, an ass whooping ain't nothing. Like, you really doing bad in life if you terrified to take an ass whooping, bro. You go live, trust me. I've taken plenty of those myself. So now let's talk about the real actual downside of prison. You're taken away from your family, the people that you love. You're robbed of your potential for those years. Like, you are literally just surviving in the grimiest, dirtiest, nastiest place that you possibly can, off the worst food, sleeping on the worst possible accommodations you could imagine like there's definitely a lot of downsides to prison but having to protect your butthole every second of every day is really not the reality in there and not only did my actions rob myself of that time it robbed my family of that time it robbed my son of that time with having his dad there it robbed my parents of that time it's a pretty disgusting feeling all over and you know you know that you were wrong you know that you messed up you know that you did it to yourself you know that you should have done better it could be pretty defeating if you let it be that or you could use it as motivation to get out, move differently, be a better person, interact with your community in a healthier way, and work your ass off for the things that you want in life. It all comes down to whether you do your time or you let your time do you. And I want to thank y'all once again for rocking out with me. Do me a favor, if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, make me feel special. Like, comment, uh, give me ideas for videos. What do y'all want to see? I know this probably wasn't at the top of your list. It might not interact very well. Probably won't get a shit ton of views, but it's important to me, so I'ma drop it. One love, y'all. Be good or be good at it.